today the int or integer built-in function in Python 3. So I would say the most common use of the int built-in function is to cast floating point numbers or to cast strings to the type int. And what we can do is throw type around this and see that our class is int. Whereas if we didn't have our uh, int built-in function in there, the class would be string. And for our other example of 5.5, we're going to get a class of float. But if we want to cast it to an integer, we can do that as well. What's important to note about floating point numbers is it's always going to round down. So even 9.999, whatever, is going to become 9, right? So 5.6 is going to become 5. Uh, I think you get the idea. Now, another uh, common situation that comes up is when your string is a floating point kind of number or a, like a string, but a floating point, that's going to result in errors. The string thing only works for whole numbers. And uh, you see, it doesn't matter how big it is, it's going to work fine. But as soon as you put uh, a point zero on there or a point one, whatever, you're going to run into errors. And so the way to fix that is you want to cast, oh, and let's let's break it again just to see, right? So that 5.0, that's going to break. What you want to do is you want to cast that to a float first. And so this is a great way just to avoid errors. Anytime you use the int, uh, you can use float before it, and it's just going to prevent any of these hard traceback errors. So int, float, very helpful combination. Another less talked about thing is that the int function can take binary, oct, and hex numbers. So if you did binary on a 5, and we took that bin, and we threw that in our int, that'll convert back. Uh, I would note, though, that you can't do it straight up like this. Uh, you're going to get errors kind of around the, the strings. So basically what I did is I just took the uh, took the value outside the strings and did it like that. Uh, so we could do that again with oct and run that again and we get our five. So it works. it'll work with hex as well. Same idea. Now, the last thing I thought I'd mention about the int function is there's actually a secondary argument you can use, um, and that is the base. So just a quick look at the docs. Uh, it defaults to base 10, but we can do other bases as well. And it kind of talks about it a little bit in here. But so say we did uh, base 20 or base 30, kind of looks like that. And what if we changed our value from 10 to 20? So base 10, base 20 becomes 40, base 30 becomes 60, etc. Just know that there's a secondary optional argument of base. Thanks for watching.